is now the next turn in the Württemberg campaign. We have been doing quite a good chunk of progress. We are besieging this. We are attacking this. We are attacking this. We're attacking. We have, we have taken both of these without casualties, obviously, because, I mean, uh, they had absolutely no troops whatsoever. Just, okay, they actually built some some troops over here. But every single, oh, okay, that de-glitched itself. But yeah, every other province has been taken. We are now en route to taking India. Amazing. So, now what we want to do is we want to make our life simple. And we do that by taking out all of the other armies that they have stationed around here. They have a couple of elephants. That doesn't really matter too much, in all honesty. Because we have three armies around here. Right, now we go for this one once more. Yeah, nothing too spectacular to take out. Their army is now gone. And I want to take out just this little one. And there we go. I don't really care for all of these. Hmm, okay, so we'll take Missouri next turn, I guess. Uh, we should get it relatively easily. As for the other provinces, everyone is doing everything perfectly. What about you, Hyderabad? Yes, you're also doing amazingly well. Alright, so... On to the next turn, where we make the the East India Company <laughs> but instead of being English it is German it's basically the same thing basically they English, you know never mind it's we're going to make the East India Company we should be fine welcome to the siege of Hindustan or rather the sally out in the siege of Hindustan it is quite a massive citadel, in all honesty. I don't know why the Indians get the very, very massive forts where they can mess around with. But it is spectacular. But we have a massive terrain advantage. So I put some units of company infantry over here. Because remember, we're making the East India Company. So we have quite a good chunk of those. And I'm going to put... Basically a lot of forces around this hill and gonna make a line around here. So that should be good. Let us begin the battle for Hindustan. Okay, and I have some time to actually do some fiddling with my troops. Right, you shall go there. Both of mm, don't need that much. Both of you shall go there. And I want you just a little bit more. A little bit more like that. The Grenadiers stand behind them like so. And this unit of line infantry stand behind these like so. Alright, so the battle has begun with the firing of my artillery. And you're really going to send some Pindari horsemen against a massive barrage of all the muskets in the world, basically. Yeah, in all honesty, I don't think that's a good idea. But, you know, um, you do you. Did you really try and... Are you really trying to skirmish with my men? Yeah, that, that, that did not... Res Why is there just... A massive fence around here? 
Alright, any other suicidal charges? I don't think so. Okay, find new targets. You can just get yourselves into a group. Just so it's easier for me to manage. And... Are they going to attack soonish? They have a whole bunch of sick warriors, though. And they are very, very good in melee. They, I don't know if they're the best melee units in terms of foot infantry. But they are quite good. Oh, they've got themselves bayonets. Oh, they got the technology for bayonets now. Amazing. Oh, in comes another suicidal charge. Right. Find yourselves new targets. Siladar Lancers. Will they actually do a damn thing? I believe they won't. But they're trying. Even though they have the worst formation to charge in existence. I'm sorry, little ones, but you all shall die. How have they not routed yet? Finally, okay. And more Pindari horsemen over here. They are trying to skirmish with me. Right, stop shooting there. Actually, find something else. Some camel nomads are approaching. More camel nomads. Even if I lose a bit of my infantry, I'm quite okay because I have a whole bunch of reserves. I have all of these men in reserve. And I don't think I'm going to utilize half of them. Are you going for my my ca my artillery? I I believe yeah, they are going for my artillery, but that's the thing with the Total War AI, specifically the Empire one. They really don't understand when there is a unit in front of the things they want to charge at. So they just charge. There they go. Yeah, they were continually going for I don't I don't even think that my units are shooting anywhere. But they're suppressing their men, which is all good. Right, find some new targets. And Okay, I believe I will need... ...to place some infantry units around here. Just so they shoot over my own men and, and get some kills, because... Yeah, ...they have a whole, whole bunch of melee infantry. And even musket infantry that they are using as melee troops. Alright then. Right, artillery, can you shoot? Yeah, why not? Shoot at that artillery. Why don't you? There are some sick warriors. They are yelling like they're charging, but they're not. I think I might need to bring my 
grenadiers into the melee. And I can absolutely... Okay, and you also get into melee. Yeah, they just basically overwhelmed us with massive, massive numbers. But the thing is, Grenadiers are better in melee. And they really, really want to go for my artillery. They really, they are just laser sight pinpointed in my artillery. But there are a lot of units on the way. And we should get the advantage. And the freaking sick warriors, they will fight and fight and fight and fight, my god. And what is that? General's bodyguard. Oh, it's an elephant unit. This is actually the first time I've seen elephants in the in this let's play. And my units are actually doing quite a good amount of quite a good chunk of damage. Right, you form up like so. You are actually lagging me quite a whole bunch, so change it up. Some Maratha infantry are routing, which is very, very good. Oh, God damn it. Really now. Right. Into melee you go. My artillery get there. The infantry out of melee. Over there. You need to take out that artillery unit. Form up before you do anything absurd. Now you can charge. We've, we've actually... We didn't kill the general, but... We did a good amount of damage to him. Because he routed. Okay. Let's see, with them, or this artillery unit should be killed relatively quickly because horse guards and all that. Can this 12 pounder okay, There we go. Okay, a charge from the back should make them rout. At least I'm hoping it will. Ooh. Okay, there. Oh, it's starting to be a mass rout. Amazing, amazing. And there they go, okay. We no longer need you, artillery. And my god, okay, whew. That was quite nasty. All right, Grenadiers, you need to rest, so get out of there. They fired their volley, so we should be good. That is a routing unit. And the battle for Hendestan was a decisive Württemberg, or, well, German Empire victory. Here we go, amazing. Whew! Heroic victory. Well, I expect nothing less of the, other than the heroic victory. It is now the next turn, the after the battle for Hindustan. We 
took a bit of a beating, specifically this unit and the Grenadiers. Reason why I not attack this province yet. Because I could and I really want to take it. But in all honesty, um, I don't really want to lose like 50% of my men. So yeah, I, I'd rather not. So what we're going to do is we have three armies over here. And in all honesty, what can they do? Absolutely nothing. Have I lost... Okay, I've lost not a single unit. And Missouri is now ours. Perfect. And that I want to delete. Infrastructure. Alright, is Missouri still alive? No. I'm only at war with the pirates and the Marathas. Alright then, so we now have the entirety of the south of India. And that is quite incredible, so I now need to send my men north. And right now, this is the best general I currently have. How incredible is that? Okay. So replenish all of those. The, the Missouri army is dead and gone. There's nothing they can do about it. And the Marathas only have two provinces remaining. Hindustan and... How do you say that? Hamad... Hamadnagar? Hamad... I, I don't... I don't really know how to say it. I really, really don't. But yeah, all of this belongs to us. We only need that and that to take out the Marathas. Then three provinces from the Mughals. They, these are rebels. And then two provinces over here from the Persians. And what about my army over here? Well, I'm glad you ask. So we are one, two, three, four, five, six. We only need six more. And then we can just do three, four, and then we can just go for the Americas. And okay. Other than that, well, if we look at our borders, because the map does it has it's really, really bright where it should not be bright, but whatever. Um, we have the entire German Empire. If we wanted, we could just take alsace Lorraine, but it just makes our borders look a little bit weird. So I, I don't think I want to. And in India, we have that. Incredible. So, in a little bit, actually, I can already send... I can send this army, and I want to send both of them at the same time to the Americas. So, let us take the entirety of India, and we should be good to... Yeah, the, the campaign is nearing its end. I need ten more provinces, alright. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Oh! It is the perfect count. 910. Alrighty then, that is that is phenomenal. Alright. Okay, let us let us get on with it. Let us conquer the rest of India, conquer all of it, and then let's go to, let's get to the Americas. We're getting we're becoming a proper uh, a proper empire, proper maritime empire. That is quite incredible. 